Hey guys, it's Nathan. Welcome back to day 142 of One Year With Me. It's October 21st, 2015, otherwise known as Back to the Future Day, which is why I look kind of like Marty McFly a little bit. I got the red vest and the flannel and all that. Got everything set up. Um, so I was looking like Marty McFly today. It was actually kind of fun. Um, basically what happened was, um, I'm writing a story about it for the paper and I was just like, you know what? I, I really want to get into Back to the Future Day. So after science this morning, by the way, I totally aced the first part of that test. I know I did. I did really, I feel like I did really well. Um, I went to Burlington Co. Factory and I found this on a clearance rack. It was like 20 bucks, I think it was. For the thing, it actually comes with like a detachable hood too. There's like little like lines in here where you can like attach a hood over it. And um, I was just like, this fits me. I need this. So I grabbed it. Uh, I went home and got my flannel, uh, put it on put this on I uh, got my shoes and then stuff and then went to school and it was awesome it was so much fun like talking to people seeing people who got it and like I was one of the only people who was like dressed up in like back to the future guard like even t-shirts and stuff today and like it was really funny like it was kind of cool um, but man like everybody around the world got in got in on the fun for this like Pepsi released Pepsi perfect to promptly get sold out which kind of pissed me off a little bit because I wanted some but I'll get some in November when they go back on sale again um, Nike announced that they actually made the uh, self-tying shoes and they're going to start selling them next year. They sent a pair to Michael J. Fox and like they had a video showing him try them on and they actually work. And, like It's really cool. So I want to get a pair of those if I can some point in the future. Um, the only thing that I see that they got wrong uh, from Back to the Future so far was obviously first off the fax machines thing, which is pff, fax machines. One guy in Ohio probably still has a fax machine and I offended him. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> but um, the second thing was that the Cubs were gonna win the World Series. They did not. They actually lost their fourth game in a row in the NLCS. They got completely swept by the Mets, so they are now out of it. So their season is over. Very unfortunate. However, I do feel very comfortable saying, and I don't say this at all, because I'm not normally a Cubs fan, but right now, like, I'm in it with them. I feel like within the next like three or four years at the most, we will, if not make or win the World Series. Like, I, I don't know what it is about this team, but there's something about like the young talent and the fact that we made it this far in the postseason already in the first season with this team and this management. Like, we keep this team together, we get some better pitchers and like we get some like just overall solid people. We have a World Series team in our hands. Like, it's ours to lose at this point. I really think that, so that should be cool. But, I mean, overall, just, yeah, it was Back to the Future Day. That's pretty cool. I mean, this is, like, a one, this is literally a once-in-a-lifetime thing. This is the only time that this is ever going to happen. And it's kind of weird knowing that, you know, in just about, you know, an hour, the entirety of Back to the Future is going to have taken place in the past. Like, that's kind of weird. Like, you know, you grow up, like, watching Back to the Future, and you're like, oh, 2015. Like, even when I was a kid, I remember watching it and thinking, that's far away. I won't remember that. And it's like, well, it's 2015 now, and I feel pretty damn old. And, like, I know I'm only 20, but, like, it's still just, like, it's weird thinking back to watching that and just remembering, like, it's still in the future, and now it's not. It's, it's so weird. So... Anyway, the future's pretty good. I mean, I don't think uh, I don't think we're wearing like you know pot like tin pot hats, and we don't have hoverboards yet. Um, well, realistically, we have them, but we don't have them like Mattel ones, you know. Uh, we don't have time traveling cars, flying cars yet. Uh, we don't have instant pizza, but you know the things that we did get were pretty cool, and I'm I'm actually really happy with where we're at right now. So, kudos to you, Back to the Future. You were one of some of my favorite movies of all time. And, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun being Marty McFly for a day. Um, but, yeah, I guess that's really all I wanted to talk about. Just it was a really, really cool day. So, hopefully uh, some more fun nerd days will come up in the future that we can, I guess, silently take part in. Because Back to the Future Day was pretty cool. And I'm not going to lie, I will use this look in the future because, honestly, I really like how this jacket fits and it's really cool to wear. So... I'm going to stop rambling now and get to studying for the second part of my science test. So thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe to follow the journey and check me out on Facebook if you want to keep up. And like always, I'll see you guys tomorrow.